Hey everybody, I'm just here today doing a quick update on the musket and tomahawks, British grenadiers with um, also with officer on horseback. Um, and this is not a, a grenadier officer, it's um, just a, a standard officer. Um, and so this is my second work in progress. I'm mostly done with the actual miniatures. Um, I haven't done the base and I haven't done the horse that I was talking about. Now, I'll show the horse close up in a second, but you'll see I've mostly put like a first coat of base paint on the horse, but um, I've really just worked on the miniatures, trying to finish the soldiers first, um, and then thought I would finish it up, um, the project, with just doing all the stuff that I talked about in the first work in progress video on the horse. And so, um, here's just a look at one of them. I think he came out pretty good. I'll show another. I'll show one that's advancing too. I really like the sculpt on this one, the, the advancing grenadier. Not only do I like the pose, but um, I just like the face. Um, one thing I will mention, there was a little bit of discussion in the comments on powdered wigs versus painting, you know, um, with uh, just regular hair color. Um, and what I had said is in the past, you know, what I normally did is just gave the officers powdered wigs and everybody else um, just regular haircuts. And, you know, um, a couple different folks chimed in just saying, you know, it could be lots of different done lots of different ways, you know, really depending on who it was and the right the regular and, you know, what kind of battle it was going into and and so I agree with all those comments. Um I did see some stuff where grenadiers uh had powdered wigs and you know, these were supposed to be really they're they're characterized in musket tomahawks as elite troops and they were the the best of the best like at the time. And so for that reason, um I decided to just give them all the wig, the white wigs, actually, and, and not go for different hair color on, on these guys. And so I went a little bit against this to what I said in the past that I normally do, but I did that only after thinking about it and because these guys are the grenadiers. Um, I'll just show the, the officer as well. And so I did do that sash as a darker red, which I've seen that done um, in, in paintings and photos where they, I thought it's strange that they wore a red sash on top of a red, um, and it did look like it was a different kind of tone, but for whatever reason, that's what they did. Um, I went for the for the, the saddle blanket, I just kind of went for or the saddle for a green with a white trim. You know, one thing I looked up, I don't know if any of you guys know, but this thing here that's on each side, I guess I just don't know enough about cavalry of during that time, but, for, and I don't know if this is just specific for officers, but I don't really know what that is, and I looked it up, I tried really doing a cursory search, and really couldn't find anything that just explicitly said what that was. I thought maybe it was some kind of storage thing, you know, cause it, but it is mirrored on both sides. I wasn't sure if they hold papers and documents. Like, it looks like a cylinder underneath a bag. 
Um, so, but um, I had seen some painted up before, and they usually were the same color as the saddle blanket, and so I, I just did it that way. So I haven't painted the hoofs yet. I'm going to go for like a, a natural look, which would be sort of like a bone look with some dark um, variations of dark in it. Um, and I am going to shoot for the the color scheme I talked about, where I have some brighter. It's going to be darker than this in areas, and then reddish kind of orangey brownish in certain areas too. Um, but I just haven't started yet. But I did paint the um, the reins and the the saddle harness and stuff gray. I just decided to give it like a dark gray, which I thought would might stand out nicely on the paint job. So, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Um, I still have to finish the bases and then finish the horse, and but um, other than that, I'm pretty close to being done. Just an aside, I know this is a work in progress video for um, the musket and tomahawk stuff I'm doing, but I'm also doing a little bit of stuff, if you've watched my other videos, for fantasy, uh, Warhammer fantasy stuff, and so I'll be coming up shortly, probably tomorrow, with a follow-up video on what I'm, what I'm up to with that stuff as well. Okay, talk to you guys later. Take care.